Hi, Tom Trento, the United West, with another investigative report by our crack infiltration team. This time, we're in Fontana, California, at the R. Rahman Masjid. Um, nice looking building here. We came to listen to uh, uh, former Prime Minister of the UK, Tony Blair's uh, sister-in-law, who two years ago converted from whatever her faith was to Islam. Lauren Booth is awarded a VIP passport by the head of Hamas jihadists, Ishmael Hania. Uh, that was a fabulous story, by the way. I'm a Christian, and that was just a very nice okay, journey. Thank you very much. But they wanted us to get some information sort of on the political spectrum. We have a large Jewish audience uh -huh. and Muslim audience. Okay. What, are, what are your thoughts on... Um, are, are, now, are you working with the Iranian government now? Or you, you work, <laughs> I mean, we hear all kinds of different no, things. No, no, no. I work for a production company in London who makes programs, and they sell it to a production company in Tehran. I don't oh, work for the Iranian for government. Okay, okay. No. Because that was floating That's out That's Zionist lies. Um, you, you've been... Uh, have you been to Iran? Iran, yeah. I've been there uh, once. Um, what is your solution for the, the, the problem on the West Bank in Gaza with the Jewish claim to the land? And There's no Jewish claim to the land at all. Um, and there is no problem there that can't be called apartheid. So, so you end Israeli apartheid and the problem goes. There is no two-state solution because you can't have two states now because you have 500,000 Jewish extremists living in the West Bank taking all of the land. So what they're trying to do is ethnically cleanse the last of the Palestinians out of their homeland. So you have one state now and the Israelis have to behave nicely and learn to live with other people. Like the rest of humanity kind of really. One of the questions we always get asked is um, the uh, the Hamas charter calls for the obliteration Doesn't. of Israel. Not um, even answering it. Not answering stupid questions. I mean, that's. I'm not question. answering stupid questions. Okay. Well, the second paragraph of the Hamas charter states, Israel will exist and will continue to exist until Islam will obliterate it, just as it obliterated others before it. The martyr. Imam Hassan Albana of blessed memory. Hamas recognize. Oh my God! Does Hamas? Oh, yeah, oh my, no. <laughs> These are the questions that float in Florida. Look at that. Israel has created a concentration camp called Gaza. There are 1.8 million Palestinians living in a concentration camp run by Jewish guards. That's what you need to be asking about as a human being. When will the Gazans have the right to travel to and from their land? What, what, could, what do you think President Obama could do to help the situation? Oh, he could stop murdering people in Pakistan and calling it a drone attack. He's a murderer. Well, in terms of the, the Israeli-Palestinian uh, issue? The Americans can't do anything. They're a completely corrupted third party who only have Zionist interests, so they just need to back off. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. thank you very much. I'm sorry for being no, aggressive. No, no, you just no, asked okay. me something that no, no. just made me like. I mean, we, you know. uh, can I have a quick question. Um, do you think uh, President Obama was stating that return of the 67 uh, borders? Do you think that's a real solution, or do you think it actually takes something more? No, than the that's 67? just a time-wasting tactic by a government who uh, uh, is, wishes to buy Israel time. You can't go back to 67 because Israel has put 500,000 Jewish extremists beyond 67. Now, are you so, telling me they're going to have a civil war in Israel bringing those people back? Right. It ain't going to happen, buddy. And Obama knows that, so he's lying. Okay. You're and being sold lies about the political agenda. Think about how that can happen. What, what do you think Israel will will attack Iran before the election or uh, regarding the nuclear issue? What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think uh, Israel is the most heavily armed nuclear nation in the Middle East and it needs to disarm. It needs to own up to its nuclear weapons and disarm. It's the only opinion I have on that. They're the threat to world peace. If there is a, uh, an attack, what, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, the, the, the crazy Christian Zionists and the extremist uh, Israeli Zionists want to trigger World War Three in the end of time for their own crazy uh, scenario. So good luck with that, guys. Okay. Right. okay. Have a good trip. Salam. I'm sorry if I forgive me. You were very nice to me, and I was rude to you. I'm really sorry. Uh, I come in peace. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry.
Oh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I keep trying to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, uh, as far as the uh, Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, do you have any? Do you think that's a good thing, a bad thing, or what think, do you think uh, it is? As far any, as anything that doesn't represent Israel's interests in the Middle East will be a good thing for Palestine, inshallah. And I want to see justice for the people of Gaza and freedom for the people of Egypt. They've made their choice. So, uh, do I think democracy is a good thing? Yeah, I do. Do you support okay. democracy? No. Well, okay, well, support they chose right. the Muslim Brotherhood. We should all cheer. Well done, Egypt. Well done, democracy. <laughs> so do you expect democracy with the new Muslim Brotherhood leadership? They've been voted in. They will do it their own way. I think that's, that's all that our business entails. So you believe that a uh, Sharia Islamic... I'm not going into politics, you're in a mosque here, but thank you. Inshallah, inshallah we hope for their, their freedom to choose if they want a, okay. a Sharia government. So what's That's your definition choice. for justice and peace in Israel? and the Gaza and the West Bank? Uh, an end to the Israeli occupation. They, they need to withdraw all of their troops and uh, they need to stop oppressing, they need to stop their, remove their racist laws that stop uh, Palestinians from taking some of certain jobs, from getting equal mm -hmm. rights, uh, from living freely in their own land. And what does that, what does that look like? It sounds good, but I can't visualize that in my mind. Yeah, so what would the day after be? It would be like the day after apartheid, inshallah, in, uh, in South Africa. They have I to still drop don't their, understand. Well, Allah knows. Uh, um, they have to drop their racist policies and then, then we'll see what happens so afterwards. Israeli, the Palestinian people are good people. So Israeli Jew in Gaza, Palestinian will live in peace? Do you peace? know what? Yeah, Allah. Fifteen years ago. You know what? I can't be bothered with this. Thanks very much. We're in a mosque. So just one last question. It's not enough. political though. I'm just here uh, to talk about Islam. Well, just... One more quick one. You said in your statements, is what we want to clarify, you said that the, uh, you considered uh, Israel was acting like a terrorist state. Oh, see, this is a political no, I'm asking. question. No, no, I'm done with politics. We're not here for, We're not here for politics. Okay, you had this. No, no, she just stated it. I'm just going to talk. Thank you. No, I don't do no, 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 no,